Some school children in South Central Los Angeles are getting a taste of Hollywood. They are looking through a lens provided by their teacher, a man who understands that a camera can put learning into focus. They just do their own thing. Jefferson High, you know that we have to continue. No, this is not MTV. What you're looking at is a tool of higher education created by inner city students right here in Los Angeles under the direction of the man in the video. He doesn't look like Steven Spielberg or Oliver Stone, but to his students, T.H. Culhane is a little of both. A science teacher who believes the way to teach is to let students make movies. He co-stars in many of his own, like this one. I'm a teacher, and I'm proud to say that I'm a teacher. They're all learning science through Jurassic Park now. We need to create our own Jurassic Parks right here. They need to write it, script it, act in it, role play. When they get involved that way, they'll learn all the other curricular material. But it's because they're creating a product they'll be proud of. This is his back lot, Jefferson High School, just off the worst of the mean streets in South Central Los Angeles. It's 90% Hispanic, 10% black. Two years ago, Culhane began making music videos to help illustrate classwork. Now he says it's the only way to get through to kids growing up on rap and MTV. In one of our videos, I said, uh, let's face facts, folks. You'd rather be home watching television and listening to the radio than coming to school, right? I mean, after all, seen anybody buying tickets to get into biology lately? Even though we're in our very first year, we're taking science and math like a bull by the horn. He's gotten other teachers involved in his videos and used his cameras to help teach their students. My job is to make sure that kids who have been disenfranchised, who aren't learning the traditional way, have an option for learning their science, their math, their history, their English. And what do the kids think? Uh, I thought it was great. Uh, when I started doing it, I just, uh, just basically I thought it was a good way to bring out the, you know, the truth to the students. It's a good experience because you, you're feeling that you're giving something out to the community and to our school, you know saying that um, we're doing something for ourselves. We don't wait for somebody to, you know, give it to us. Culhane has made 16 videos in all, covering everything from history lessons to uh, sex education. He's won major grants from General Electric and Pep Boys, but mostly he's done it on his own, spending $50,000 of his own money to keep the uh, videos coming. I set this program up with... Um, what do they say, spit and chewing gum. Uh, just by investing every penny I had and every ounce of energy I had. Culhane graduated from Harvard. He takes the bus to South Central every day. He's been mugged and threatened, but still he keeps the faith as a teacher and filmmaker. When I went to Harvard, I was uh, traveling with all of the high rollers and people who are on top in the society and saw that there was no difference between them and anybody else and felt that we need to bridge the gap. I spent my early childhood in inner city Chicago. My mother worked for Head Start and my father was a reporter for Newsweek and he got beaten up during the Democratic Convention by policemen because he was covering the black side of the story. Um, I'm of ethnic extraction. I'm an Arab American. Uh, my mother had taught me always that you have to, you have to help people overcome the difficulties that society imposes on them. So this was a mission instilled in me when I was very young. We came to Jefferson High to see Culhane at work. It uh, wasn't like being at Warner Brothers. We rode to his screening room on a trash cart. His cameraman was so enthusiastic, he shot us shooting them. His screening room used to be a storage area covered with graffiti. Now, students are turning the taggers' work into murals. A jumbo-sized TV screen and a satellite dish were part of a grant from a Washington foundation. Our vision is to become an uplink school where the student productions that we make here will then be uplinked via our satellite to schools around the nation. In the school drafting room where students learn art and architecture, Culhane recruits talent for his films. They're standing and there's a castle behind them. In the computer room, he works on cartoons and the design of special movie props and takes a few moments to rap about his sex education video you both gave your baby half your dna you pass characteristics of your genes that way now part of it's the chromosomes but that's not all you got to make the right environment in the uterine wall then 40 weeks later you can thank the lord as the doctor cuts the umbilical cord but can you handle that responsibility because it's a labor of love. 
In the carpentry shop, students paint sets and shoot a scene for an upcoming film. And then turn the saw on and have the blood splatter right. into the lens of the camera. Okay. You kind of need, huh? Okay, that's yeah, what a whole movie. Okay, now the shot we're going to do here. Uh, where's our, uh, blood, our ketchup in there? <laughs> <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. <laughs> okay. Ready? Come on, three. Action. We'll take that shot and we'll cut it in. With the they shot. also practice with our camera. The point is what we want to show here as the student has not put the cover down, right? Dave Grober, a Hollywood filmmaker, helps direct this scene. He's been working with Culhane for over a year and is trying to raise money so students can turn this garbage area into a state-of-the-art movie studio. Sherry Kerr, a consultant from UCLA, is also helping out. She even acts in Culhane's films. And local artist Robert DeVico is helping design a new permanent back lot. The empresario himself believes it's all for a noble cause, a breakthrough in inner city education that will produce the talent for Hollywood of tomorrow and educate a lot of students who might otherwise have been written off. I would say to Los Angeles, change the paradigm of your heart and consider the fact that every kid who's born from whatever ethnic group, from whatever background, is in some a genius. And that our job is to liberate that genius. windows and the sunshine never comes through you know it's but so dark and lonely since i broke it off girl with you i love